I really wish we could have done this in person. I was looking forward to seeing Armstrong Hall and just walking the campus with my family, but it is not to be. My name is Chris Clark. Thank you for this incredible honor, and thank you to the faculty and staff of the Purdue School of Aeronautics and Astronautics for recognizing my career and contributions to U.S. Navy flight test. There are a lot of people I must thank for all the wonderful opportunities in my career. But first, I want to thank my wife, Barbara, and daughter, Allie, for their continuous support. I could never thank you enough. Many hours and trips away from home. You two are the center of my life. I love you always and forever. Also, my parents, who are now deceased, for their strong emphasis on getting a great education with solid fundamentals. They would say, a great education gives you choices and opens doors. I was a civil servant with the U.S. Navy flight test community for 37 years and given opportunities to work on some of naval aviation's most iconic aircraft, as well as help solve some really difficult technical problems. Some of these airplanes were the F-18 in all of its variants, including the Super Hornet, the F-14 Tomcat, the T-45 Goshawk, and even some work with the venerable F-4 Phantom II. I also had the opportunity to attend the U.S. Navy Test Pilot School's test engineering curriculum. I graduated from there in 1983. Some of the projects assigned to me took me to NASA Dryden, where I met a lot of Purdue engineers. I think this experience really put Purdue front and center when I realized I needed a solid technical master's degree. Over time, you figure out that the lion's share of aircraft test and development work is done on teams. And the scope of these teams spans a lot of technical disciplines. Aerodynamics, stability and control, flight performance, structural dynamics, as well as shipboard integration and weapons integration. That just is to name a very few that would fall under the umbrella of a large integrated test team. This list could go on. Instrumentation team, the maintenance team, and flight ops, and all of these teams need to work together to meet the objective of delivering a product to the Navy's aircraft carriers. The individual contributions within, team, within a team are also critical. You need to show up prepared. I felt that the breadth and depth of the education I received at Purdue gave me the prerequisites to make positive contributions and help solve problems or demonstrate needed capabilities for the Naval Aviation Fleet. Some of the really interesting problems included finding solutions to the Super Hornet's wing drop, which was an asymmetrical shock-induced separation that occurred in maneuvering flight. The T-45's landing approach flying qualities. Here, slow thrust response and low airframe drag made it difficult to manage precise glide slope control, which, of course, is a necessity to land on an aircraft carrier. Near the end of my career, the shipboard integration and demonstration of the X-47B this was an unmanned autonomous air vehicle. Throughout my career, I served on numerous teams in a variety of capacities as a flight test engineer, a team leader, a supervisor. I concluded my career as the chief test engineer at the Test and Evaluation Squadron VX-23 with responsibilities for test execution and risk management. Many of the engineering problems that our teams worked on had no one right answer. But I think my Purdue education helped us find the best compromises. In addition to the academics, I made good friends that I'm still in contact with today. I would be remiss if I didn't give a shout out to Bob Seltzer, who is from the Naval Air Development Center in Warminster, Pennsylvania. We spent many hours discussing the head scratchers that Dr. Schmidt would dispense to his students. In closing, I would like to thank fellow Boilermakers, Lisa Kurtzals and Tom Ryder, who nominated me, as well as all those that helped them assemble the nomination package I know these are never easy to do. I want to thank the Navier Test Squadron VX-23 and the Navy flight test community for a wonderful career full of opportunities. And finally, a thank you to the professors whose reputation drew me to Purdue in 1986. Professors Dave Schmidt, Dominic Andrasani, and Terence Weissauer. Thank you all very, very much. <laughs>